Finally, we've come to the moment that I've been waiting for. I finally get to unbox this. Welcome everybody back to being a fine figure. G Topo here. As today we unbox another G.I. Joe classified series number 74. This time it is none other than Scrap Iron and his anti-armor drone. Chuck full of accessories. I mean the detail on the box and the figure, it is amazing. The head sculpt, we're gonna go over everything today. Um, this time we're even going to go a little bit over the articulation. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and open up uh, scrap iron and get him out of the packaging, get the drone out of the packaging, and I will be right back. All right, he's out of the packaging. I mean, look, look at that. I mean, look at that figure. Isn't that one of the best? I mean, they just keep getting better and better. I mean, this guy looks so good that I am afraid to even release him from the prison that he's in right now because he's just one big bad mother. I mean, look at him. That's just, uh, he just looks so mean, like he's about to tear it up. Uh, the drone does require a little bit of a assembly, which we'll, we'll get to that eventually. But uh, let's uh, get all his accessories out. Let's get these out of the package in here. Uh, his locker room or trunk, or there's nothing else in there. You go over there. Pieces out here. And so this is uh, what they considered a. Uh, did I miss something? A deluxe or a premium figure? I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I think it was like forty four dollars or something. Now I have to go back. I know it wasn't fifty. Um, something like that. But man. I mean, I'm still haven't got to the drone yet, and look at all these accessories. Wait, am I missing something? Make sure. Look at the back of the box. I got the name on the helmet, the drone, and the weapons. And yep. Yeah. All right, so let's uh, let's get all these bad boys uh, to the side here. Man, these are some nice looking accessories. We'll go over them really quick. And now let's get him out of the. <coughs> Hardcore like paper ties. Let's go. Oh, there goes one. Uh, I guess I'm gonna put both sides. Oh, there goes two. There's three. And let's get scrap iron out. Again, I really enjoy scrap iron uh, growing up. Um, it's a pretty cool character. Hated them, but he was still pretty good. As you get older, you appreciate some of these villains a little bit more in the cartoons. <coughs> for their, even for the fact that they just hang around. Cobra Commander was one thing. Um, but man, this, I can't wait to get to the figure. But <clears throat> And then of course, the drone there. I have to uh, see which way. It actually goes, I think. This is the front. And I guess it has to aim up because of the rocket, so. Uh, that, well, that was quick. Man, they like how they, man, that's pretty cool. Now the rubber, uh, the tires do not move. They are rubber, that's why I thought they would but they don't um, move at all. But if you're gonna put it on uneven surfaces, it's actually pretty cool because you can get to move around. So that's a nice little touch that they did to it. You put it on a mountain or something on level, you'll be able to keep it straight because obviously the wheels, or I don't know what you call these, um, they kind of move up and down. So that's actually very nice. And look, it's got like a nice little, like it will be a camera, I guess. Nice little detail there. On the side, it says PSO Electric, uh, serial number, series of numbers, and Cobra at the end. It has an M there, it's got the little lights, the little Cobra signal on the top. That's a nice touch there. Uh, wheels, I like the paint on the metal there. So give it the illusion. And again, they are rubber, the chains or whatever, the bottoms. Um, but they do not move at all. But I like the fact that it's a different texture and it's actually rubber like they're supposed to be and not just another plastic 
paint it over so that's a nice touch nice little lights there uh, to here from oh, the hell that is from it's like very dusty to be inside of those uh packaging there but yeah nice nice on the drone and of course the drone comes with uh the two missiles there laser guided x uh, l zero was out of four uh, they both say the same thing and they have the little pegs so you can put it at the end of the accessories uh, yeah that's a nice touch to it and of course it comes with all these different accessories that you can put them in there and tie them up there which i think that's a nice touch you can do uh shooting one at a time there you go that looks nice like you're shooting one missile at a time <clears throat> it's nicely done and then of course you have the explosion effects there from the missiles it's a nice touch there there's another one there <clears throat> it look good when you do it around the joes and of course you have the flame with the dust cloud on those two you get two of them differently sculpted which is good uh this one here it's a little, little weird um but i guess don't know how that would work but i guess maybe the effect after you blow yeah whatever we'll figure it out later <coughs> excuse me now on to scrap iron which i've been waiting for this uh so i am going to zoom a little bit out so we can get a little bit closer look at scrap iron there and of course he doesn't have much for weapons just a nice little uh side piece little handgun there not much but it does have the peg holes for uh, effects so that's actually pretty good uh, it's nice simple and then of course he comes with his remote for the drone there's armor drone there nice there it has a little screen there wish they would have done a little bit of silver or some color out on the control so they could stand out uh, little antennas there a nice little pad um, i guess he'll hold it in his trigger fingers and of course uh, the signature scrap iron helmet which this one comes off which i think it's cool of course he is going to be wearing out uh, on it on display because you know scrap iron to me um, we didn't really see his face growing up and it was always a mystery so i want to keep it that way after of course i go over the figure itself but it would be a shame because this is one of their better looking uh, sculpted face figures I mean, look at that. That is some great. Let me. So there you go. Let me fix that up a little bit. Man, that is amazing. Look at that. He's got the uh, scars on the side. It's like he just went through an explosion. Scar on the face. He's not too happy. His eye. I mean, it's all whited out. That's actually pretty good. It's got like the pupil, but it's like a gloss, like a smoke over the little his pupil. And then, man, look at that. That is some detail. That is amazing. And, you know, the haircuts shaved on that side. <clears throat> Got a little mohawk, but it's like a half a mohawk because obviously his hair ain't growing because of the scar, the burnt face, and it takes half of his ear. And the only thing that's left is the inside that has a little skin tone. Man, this is some great articulation that the that Hasbro team has put in this particular figure. I mean, I thought Rock and Roll had a good face. I thought Major Blood had a pretty good face sculpt for being a figure that couple years old. But man, this one, they nailed it. This is amazing. Of course, you know, you put the helmet on, you might see some of the scars, but man, I don't know. I'm gonna have to debate now if I wanna pose him with the helmet or without. Maybe he can be holding the helmet and stuff. But man, and then as far as the uh, rest of the body, a little cobra there on the shoulder. Uh, nice there. It's got that nice vest I like. So obviously it's going to hinder the articulation of the crunch there. But I don't really care because, I mean, the figure itself looks good. The detail, it's got the grenades there. It's got a little pouch. It's got the little, uh, I think that vest is mostly to protect him from the... Uh, uh, weapons or the explosions or something on his body which i think that's pretty good it's like a it's almost like a vast protection not a bullet but almost like a one of those uh vests that they use when they defuse the bombs and stuff uh, that's actually pretty cool um or that's what it looks like to me so 
I mean, I like the belt there is attached to the holsters there on his feet. And this is uh, unique. That's actually not bad. That's, uh, well, yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's all connected. I mean, they kind of look like garter belt, but um, they, they work, man. It's got the little holster there for his weapon there. Uh, he doesn't have a watch. He's got, look like, it looks like he's got one of those uh, jacket type um, sweaters there. I guess, I mean, this whole uniform has to be against, to protect him against the uh, missile backlash, the flows of the fire or something. It's actually pretty good. And he's got the nice knee pad there, which I'm not a fan, but this would actually work with this figure. And of course, his boots detail there. That little strap over, uh, simple. Again, let's see. He's got some pretty, uh, not, pretty not that, I mean, not much really. But he is looking down because, of course, he's going to be spending most of the time messing with the drone. So it's just enough, just what you need. Um, and again, G.I. Joe articulation does have a small butterfly there. But you can actually get the arm up that high. You can get it around. He's got the uh, bicep swivel, which I like, but he does not have the forearm. Pinless elbow and knees. Whoa. We're hitting a home run here. Um, I mean, the articulation is hindered on the waist, but you can get some movement out of it. Um, the hand, I guess this one goes in and out, I guess, to hold the remote. And this one doesn't really have much because of the sweater. I can't tell which way it's going to go. I don't think it has much. Oh, there it is. It goes up and down. It's very limited because of the, the, the detail of the arm there of the sleeve. So this one, I can't get much. This one's a little bit more separated, so you get a little bit more movement on that one. Um, and then the legs, obviously, you can do a full split. Um, and it goes up that high. Not really much on the back. And when you do that, you can create that big gap because he does have drop uh, thighs there. The legs drop. So it give you a little bit better uh, movement. Um, he does have, oh, I think I took it off. Let me just push that back in. Um, he does have thigh swivel, uh, like I said before, double pinless knees. Um, and he does have the bottom calf on the shin movement there. Um, it does go up and down, and he does have pivot there on the ankle. So, again, another figure that they have knocked out of the park. This is amazing. Again, there's uh, G.I. Joe fans. You already have heard me say which is my favorite. But there's just a few Cobras that just stand out. And this, I mean, I used to love sc Scrap Iron. But mostly because of his uh, gutless, cowardly um, demeanor. But man, this one is amazing. So let's, uh, let's put them together here. <clears throat> because of course, he's not going to be doing any fighting He's just going to be doing shooting missiles in the helmet. See, this is a scrap iron I remember. Now that is one. That's cool right there. And of course, see how this works. I'm going to put the remote there. And then, yeah, the remote will hold in there. Would it hold in both hands? Kind of. Still working on having to figure out a way. Oh, there it is. I guess that'll that'll do. <clears throat> yep. Let me fix him up a little. So yeah, there it is. That's I say yeah. There you go again. Another figure that they have nailed out of the park they have really done a good job with this the drone it's amazing Let's see if I can get it a little bit better in there I mean the articulation everything is actually really good well I wish it would stand up back maybe he's not in too much yeah, there you go yeah that's it that is a nice looking figure. And as always, man, 
these Hasbro team, they just keep getting better and better. I mean, what can you say? Look at that. That's just pure art, man. I mean, this looks like they are real fans that they really take care of. Uh, they really, you know, translate what they really want and they listen. And I mean, they're doing a great job in this here. So, and there you have it, guys. And again, uh, thank you as always for stopping by. Thank you for spending time here and watching my videos. Um, thank you for your support. And as always, continue to support each other, continue to take care of each other. And as always, I will see you later. Mm -hmm.